Okay, we are here with the very last tab, the view tab. And we are going to be doing all the sections in this one video. It's fairly easy and straightforward. So here we go. Print layout uh, is at 100%. This is how you will see it. When it prints out, this is how it will look. Full screen reading is the whole page fitting on one if you were reading it, right? And then to go back. There we go. Hey, no, that's not what I want. Back to the uh, web layout, how we look on a web page, an outline, a draft. So, outline, you know, Ooh, a draft right up here. You can put a ruler on. These are these little guys on the outside so you can see how big things are. Grid lines. If you were, you know, you can have a grid. A navigation pane. So this will help you search for things or specific words within your document. It can be pretty useful if you need it. Zoom. You can zoom in, you know, 200%, 75%. You can choose. Page with text width, full page, whatnot. One page, two pages, page width. So it's as wide as it will go. I usually just work down here, but this is very handy. New window. Um, opens up a new document. Arrange split. Goes through so you can go back and forth between the two. Or that's where I arrange all and split. You can split your document into two sections so you can work with one, work with the other. Um, um, but, um. And then in window, you can view side by sides and kind of scroll in, reset window position. You can a new window open. So side side, you can have them right side by side, it's easy, right? Um, where am I? I'm over here, arrange, oh, what is this? So I'm going to scrolling, so it should be that, oh, that when I scroll on this side, at that side goes down, like they go down together. Um, you can switch windows from document one, document two, whatever. Macros are, you can, you know, give a name, you can record a macro, it's pretty easy. There won't be an assignment on this because this is just practice just for you to understand. And the big test is coming. Good luck.